Spotlight Friends! Adam Navis here with the wonderful Liz Wade. And we are doing another conversational podcast program. How are you, Liz? Uh, I'm good. Good. Uh, if you don't know Liz or myself, maybe this is your first time stumbling across this program, uh, we hope you check out our Spotlight YouTube channel. You can go to our website, which is spotlight, spotlightenglish.com, and know that this program, this conversation, kind of falls into a, a, and it's not a pattern, it's a spectrum of programs. We have a classic program that's in slow English. We have an advanced version. We do some live events that are kind of like this, but responding to listener comments. And then we have this program where we're talking about uh, one of our programs. It's kind of a extra behind the scenes, a little, you get to hear what two native English speakers think about the program. And this week's program is about tips for, I'm not, I'm not going to remember the title exactly, but it's tips for recovering from injury. It's part of a series of tips about different stages of life, right? Can I, can I say <clears throat> it's tips for a healthy adult, how to recover from an injury. Perfect. Um, yeah, I have that on my screen. I don't know why I didn't just read it. Um, I, I got it. You know it. why, Adam? Because you're getting old. It's because I'm getting old. I am not, I, I make, I'm just going to have a, have a moment aside and getting old. I make a lot of lists. I yeah. don't remember things because I, I, yeah. I don't know if I don't remember them because I make the list, but I am a list maker and no. I imagine as I get older, I will make more and more lists. Yeah, I make lists too, but I think that's just like uh, part of who I am. Yeah, that could be. I mean, I I probably it helps me think through things. I've always you know why you make lists, Adam? Because I'm awesome. because you uh, are um, because you listened to the program. Uh, what is it about? How to manage your time better? Yeah, I. That's yes. why, and because that's one of the tips in that how to how to manage your time better. And to now, get see, more now done. we're going to have to link that in the show notes, and people can go manage their time better. Just like Adam. Just it's like, not about getting old. Yeah. It's just. It's about managing your time managing well. Your time. Yeah, but there is there is uh, something about getting old. So this program begins with like a funny a funny uh, scenario, right? Yes. Or have you ever heard somebody uh, get into a chair like this? Oh, yeah, the and sounds we you, make. When I sat down in this chair, I said, You made those Ugh. sounds. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, we're getting. Not a, on purpose. Yeah, they just kind of escape you. Like, you start. Oh. Yeah. Well, when you get old, let's be honest, your body goes through certain changes. And yep. we. Uh, for, for a lot of people, it becomes harder to move their bodies either through the same kind of range of motion uh, or with the same kind of strength uh, that they that they used to have. It's harder to yeah. I know you don't you don't struggle with this, but it is harder for people like me to lose weight if you're trying to stay fit. <laughs> um, oh yeah, I, I struggle with that as well. Uh, um, with the with the exercise thing though, that's one of the reasons that I do exercise um, mm. a couple times a week because the more that you like move your body and the more you exercise your joints and you know make your body strong, the better it will be uh, yes. years down the line. So that is that is I I exercise for many reasons, my yeah. mental health and right. um, you know just being stronger. So you're saying but, you're you're looking 10, 20 years into the future and you're yeah. saying, how can I invest now that can make me, yep. um, yeah. No, I, I, I think I do that a lot too to say, I don't want to hit 60 or 70 years old and not be able to, you know, if I ever have grandchildren, for example, to mm -hmm. play with them on the floor. I'm sure my body will have its creaks and its aches, but yeah, to be able to do that and, and stay healthy, that's a big deal. Yep. That's a real big deal. 
It is. Yeah, um, that's one of the main reasons that I exercise. But let's talk about, there's this aspect of this particular program. It's not just uh, avoiding injury, but it's saying, what do you do if and when you get injured from right. exercise or anything, or you have any kind of sickness? Because when you're young, you do you do recover from injury faster. Your body heals. Uh, uh, you sleep better. You 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 do a lot of things better. So have you had? Um, I know I have. I could tell the story, but I, have you had an an athletic injury or a, a, a an acute injury that you had to really try to heal? Well, I will say. Um... So I have had like in, in my way past, I, I know I've talked about it in the, in the live shows before, but, uh, I was hit by a car when I was 15. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, and I did, I healed pretty well. Yeah. Uh, I did had to do some physical therapy and, um, you know, so some exercises that helped rebuild those muscles after not using them for many months. Um, but even so that doesn't, it doesn't mean my leg is perfect. So sometimes, excuse me, um, sometimes when I walk, I have a limp um, or it's difficult for me to, I can't run. Mm -hmm. I, it just doesn't work with my leg. Um, and so it, but it also affects other parts of your body. And right now I have an injury that is in my neck and shoulder. It's just oh. so tense. And um, I've gone to physical therapy a little bit for it, but it's just, I don't know. Part of it is that I'm so set in my ways yep. that I don't, I don't think about it. And part of it is it's a lot of work to do all of the things that you need to do to make yourself better. Yeah. Well, that, I mean, you named the biggest, hardest thing to get to healing is admitting that you need to do those things. Like, yeah, it's fine. It's normal. Everybody has these things. You first have to think, I want this to be different. It's not yeah. okay that it's this way. Yeah. And it's really hard mentally. There's a there's a we talk we talk in the program about that mental aspect of having an injury is draining, but also the process of healing takes a lot of effort and mental effort as well, right? Yeah. Yeah, and some changes that maybe even as an adult you don't want to make. Yes. You know, you're set in your ways and yes. it's a little bit, uh, yeah, it's more difficult to, to change what you want to do. Yeah. Well, my, my injury was from a few years ago. I, um, I was training for a very long trail race, a 50 oh, mile yeah. trail race. And it took me, it took me about a year of training to build up to that distance. And I felt a little ache in my Achilles tendon in my ankle. Yeah. And I knew that I was about six weeks or two months from this race. It didn't, it didn't like hurt. Like I couldn't walk on it, but like, right. as I ran, it wasn't healing. And I just, it was always there in my oh. head. I could always sense it, but I had another goal. I wanted to finish. I had invested yeah. so much time. So I ran through it. And then I didn't run for like a year after that because it just, yeah. it took that long to heal. And maybe it was, it would have been better if I had just stopped and let it heal. Yeah, that's I, very difficult because you don't know, sometimes the pain is like, do you run through it and it will right. get better right. or do you stop and treat your injury right then? Do you, do you, uh, like what we would say, baby it, do you yeah. baby it? Yeah. Yeah. Take it and give yourself a little self-care, as we say. Yeah, yeah. But then you might not hit your goal of running that race. Right. Or you want to keep exercising just because it's good for your mental health, but you need to take a few days off. But you don't yeah. you don't like how you feel. You don't like, mm -hmm. you know, you might not sleep as well at night or, you know, exercise does a lot of things for people. Yeah. Um, that thing about sleep, uh, that one's interesting to me because that is... That's one of the things that this program recommends, right? Mm -hmm. That you should get a lot of sleep. Yeah. But that's oh, yeah. one of the things that I struggle with a lot. When I get to the end of the day, I maybe want to not go to bed on time. Yeah. I want to do something fun. I've been working all day. Maybe we did something as a family. Yeah. Um, 
maybe I did an activity. Um, but then when I get to the end of the day, I just want to have some alone time where I read yeah. or watch TV or something like that. Yeah. And then I think, oh, now I got to go to bed. I don't want to. Yeah, you know, that's like a, it's like a, one of your it. one of your favorite parts of the day where you, it's just you. You can control. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's tough. It's tough to I say. Know. I'm just gonna. But you sleep. know how healthy sleep is for you. That's true. I mean, all in all, I think uh, this program is an amazing program in that it it just focuses on our our bodies are amazing at healing themselves and so much of what you have to do, rest, sleep, eat good foods, is just letting your body do what it already wants to do, right? There yeah. are some times you need medicine or surgery, um, but most of the time or a lot of the time, you just need to, and I don't like thinking about medical stuff. That's not my thing, but just that, yeah, it's not even me. that our, like our fingernails <clears throat> and our skin replace itself is, is such, a, such an amazing thing. Yeah. Um, there was something in this program. Oh, there's one more thing I wanted to talk about. Oh, is it? Um, is it about the the study? Uh, that part was really interesting. Yeah, to go me. ahead. Okay, so there was um, this program talks about a study where they studied um, like yeah, a, yeah, a yeah. group of adults. Right. So they were ages 55 to 77 and they were all healthy. And so um, it's a little more complicated than this. But essentially what they did is they gave each adult in this study. Uh, well, first of all, they started a month before and they said half of these people um, had like should exercise three times a week. Yep. Right. The other people, again, were healthy. They just didn't exercise yep. at all. Yeah. So then uh, a month after they started the study, then they gave each person a wound. I know. On the back I, of their when arm. they said a, it, a small but deep cut, I'm like, yes, exactly. It was like, it was a, a real, actual, uh, like harmful wound, right? Yeah. Um, it was not like a pinprick or whatever. I did, I read this and I was like, oh, makes me a little bit. I would never anyway, volunteer out. for that. Anyway, so they took the then they checked in with these people. Uh, I don't remember if it was weekly or daily or whatever, but they took a picture of the wound so they could track the pro progress on everybody. Yeah. Okay. And they found that the people who uh, exercised consistently, even just three days a week and not even uh, crazy exercise, but their exercise routine was something like um, a, a five minute warm up. And then, you know, 20 minutes of exercise and then a five minute cool down and stretching. Yeah. Okay. This was not strenuous, difficult exercise. Right. It was just basic exercise. Um, the people who exercised, I think they healed something like 11 days faster. That is, I mean, yeah, it's insane. Uh, yeah, it is insane. Like 11 days fast, like on average, right? So right. some people healed faster and some people healed a little slower. Right. But just the fact that they were exercising yeah. and keeping their bodies moving yeah. healed their bodies faster. Yeah, that is, it, it's just a little crazy that a cut would heal faster, right? That your overall, right. and this is, this is the thing that I think sometimes we forget that our bodies are all one piece. Like you, we have yeah. heart doctors, we have skin doctors, we have bone mm -hmm. doctors, but all the pieces that even if you're like, oh, I have a cut on my arm, if you're eating well and drinking well and sleeping well, yep. your body will, will be healthier and that will heal faster. Yep. Oh, but well. It's making all those little choices, right? Exactly. It's choosing to exercise. Uh, even if it's just a little bit, it's choosing to eat healthy. It's choosing to um, uh, go drink, to sleep drink a little enough earlier. Water, yeah, all those right. things. Right. But the thing is, too, that like especially this year when we've had the pandemic and um, I don't know if I'm speaking for everybody else, but it's been a lot more difficult to make those healthy choices, I think, oh, yeah. because you're you're making the choice to um, – go grocery shopping or to um, yep. 
go to a store and all of those choices, if you, you right. know, well, you have, have we a limited ability to make good choices. I, well, we have we, I'm trying to rem remember if we've talked about this in a spotlight program or if maybe you and I have just talked about it, but we've talked about like willpower and that yeah. you have a limited amount of choices, good choices in a day. And if early in the day, if someone comes into your office and brings like a, a, a donut or a cake or something and you say, no, 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 I don't want that. And then at, later in the day, they say, hey, do you want this candy bar? And you say, no, no, no. You, when it gets to nighttime, it's really you have less good choices to make. Yeah. Um, and it's really hard when you're saying, you know what, I'm going to do these good choices, good choices. Yeah. It's hard to do that all well, the time. Maybe, maybe if you're thinking, okay, so I have this wound, uh, you know, and I know that exercise can help my whole body. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that will help make that choice for you. Yeah. Yeah. I guess, I mean, I will say, uh, one of the, so this is, this is, uh, me growing old, Adam, is okay. these glasses right here. Yeah. I don't actually wear glasses, but I found uh, since I work at the computer all day uh, that my eyes were becoming strained and uh, it was it was too much work for my eyes yeah. to uh, to just look, look at the computer screen or a TV or whatever. My phone phones are bad habits. Um, but <laughs> so this these are not actually they don't help me see well but they block out blue light. And I oh, have found okay. that that really helps. And that was a good choice that I made. Well, good. Well, um, uh, I would love for you guys in the comments to write two things. One, how, what, how did you know that you were growing old? And two, like Liz, what is the thing you did about it? Did you wear glasses that block out blue light? Did you try to get a little extra sleep? Did you try to... You know, what do you do to heal and make sure that you're living uh, a great life? Or Adam, we also have younger, younger viewers. Maybe I understand you think that. that. Maybe you think that age will never come for you. Oh, man. But we hope, we hope that you grow very old. Uh, yeah. What will you be like when you're older? Oh, man. Have if you I thought could, about it? If I could go back in time to my younger self... I, I, first of all, I would say do whatever you want with your hair. <laughs> get, get a crazy haircut, get seven different haircuts, grow it long, get a perm, whatever. <laughs> just enjoy it while it's there. Yeah. That's my first advice to my past self. And then just stay healthy, right? It's so much easier to stay healthy than to get healthy, right? Yeah, that's true. Well, you're making your life better. This, this, if you've made it this far into this rambling program, you're, you're doing amazing because uh, mm -hmm. you're learning English, you're practicing English with us. And uh, as we always say, if you're part of the Spotlight uh, community, you're the best. You guys are kind. That is true. And uh, we hope that you join us, you know, visit our, our website, follow us on Twitter and Facebook and all the places. Um, we've got a yeah, lot don't of... don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, get the notification bell. Um, yeah, we've got lots of content. I know you, you know you you'll get that subscription, but go back into some playlists, check it out. Um, we really do appreciate it. It helps when you tell people about Spotlight, um, get the word out there, and we really we really do appreciate that. Uh, for myself, Adam Novice and Liz, you want to have the last word? Yeah, sure. I always love the last word. Uh, <laughs> I'm Liz Wade saying we'll see you later.